This segment is sponsored by Vascular Surgery Associates. Vascular Surgery Associates was founded in 1987. Their mission is to promote the prevention and treatment of vascular disease in a cost-effective, high-quality manner using the most advanced techniques and technology available. So joining us is one of Vascular Surgery Associates' 11 board-certified members, Dr. Rich Bafford. All right, Dr. Bafford, so tell our viewers, what are some signs or symptoms of vascular disease? Well, they can vary, and it does depend on the vascular bed that you're you're talking about. So I'll touch upon uh, three of the more common ones: okay. your carotid arteries, or your, uh, what supplies the blood to the brain or your cerebrovascular um, circulation. Carotid arteries uh, run through your neck and ultimately uh, branch off to uh, supply the vessels to the uh, or to the uh, to the brain. Mm -hmm. um, when these become narrowed. Uh, due to atherosclerotic or hardening of the arteries, um, you can develop many strokes or strokes where you can have weakness on one side, um, difficulty speaking, difficulty expressing your words. Um, so that's often a sign of uh, carotid artery disease. Often this is uh, picked up on non-invasive studies, meaning an uh, ultrasound can show that uh, there is narrowing in the, in the carotid arteries. Okay, so when you talk about tailoring the treatment plan, what are some of the services that your group provides? Well, we uh, do pride ourselves on uh, being a full surface vascular surgery practice from head to toe. We can perform both minimally invasive procedures to uh, uh, open up the narrowing. Uh, we also can perform the standard uh, open procedure where we actually in the operating room can clean out the artery and put a new patch or new, basically a new roof or put a patch on the artery and, and, and widen the artery so that it's not narrowed and doesn't uh, cause uh, the symptoms of mini strokes or strokes. In vein disease, there's various uh, methods that we can uh, use to help treat that. Um, sometimes we can seal off a vein that we uh, that may be leaking and leading to uh, pooling of blood in the lower extremities. Okay, now when should someone get attention from a vascular for surgeon for a wound that's non-healing? Um, I would argue that uh, uh, as soon as possible, okay. especially if it's something that develops spontaneously. It's a little bit different if you, you know you. you know, kicked your leg on the counter uh, coffee table or you know you were out cutting the grass and you sliced your leg that's a little bit different but if you develop a spontaneous wound and it's just not healing i would seek uh, consultation with a vascular surgeon uh, very very quickly it's all it's much easier to get ahead of it uh, early on than uh, waiting too long and uh, sort of get behind the eight ball all right perfect and of course we'll have all that information where our viewers can find you on our screen and on our website. Thank you so much, Dr. Bafford, for joining us today. Thank you. For, thank you for having us.